Welcome back to some Chicory Colourful Tale. I'm Dear Darling and pick up your brush as we paint the world all over in every beautiful colour where we'll be, uh, firstly we're going to be trying to explore these other sort of areas which, which we've never had the, the chance really to explore, uh, i.e. these three acres which we um, haven't uncovered yet now that we've got all our traversal abilities um, and bonded with a brush terrifically well. But I, I don't really know how we get there. Uh, I'm not sure if it's this way or... Or, or not this way. It seems like we had to swim up a waterfall in this one, which is something we can obviously do quite well, but uh, there might be something blocking our way now. I don't really know. I don't... I say that's from... That's from the screen and right. Um, if you're wondering if I'm going to 100% chicory a colourful tale, I might do. I might do. <laughs> it's basically my sort of response to that. Um, it, it does certainly seem like royal... Ooh. It does certainly seem like there's a lot to do in chicory. I don't know. Um, some of the... Comp uh, uh, the completion stuff is going to be rather difficult, I, I would wager, but I, I, I'm going to do my best, at least for now. Let's try and 100% it all, but uh, I don't know, certainly for sure, if I will or not. <laughs> oh, hello. We've got a secret here. Especially because it's going to be rather difficult to um, keep track of which um, secrets I've got gotten and which ones I haven't. So this one, it seems like we had to climb up Nibble Tower. Not Nibble Tower, uh, Nibble Tunnel. <laughs> or whatever it's called. And if you're wondering, um, I, I spoke about it this in a little bit in the previous episode. Um, we're not quite going to fight the final boss yet. I, d I do want to try and get all this, the, the main side quest sort of stuff done before um, I go around um, defeating uh, the final boss. Oh yeah, hold on. You're one of the people we need to get done as well, right? You, you wanted like full moon or something. Do we have? Do we have moon stuff? Moon, 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 the drama of it when we actually go and fight the person in the first place. But that must not be here nor there. Um, okay, so it's not climbing up. Oh no, it is. Oh, it's going over here on the left side. Through the Nibble Tunnel. That's where we need to go to actually um, get um, the present we saw on a different screen. Uh, but it's also, we still need to do uh, the crime scene one back in whatever village that was, I can't remember. Backwards cap. So we've got one more acre we haven't gone to, and there's another waterfall which we haven't quite swum up yet. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we got one, we've got the crime scene thing, we still need to do that one. There's another, oh, we need to take pictures uh, for, I honestly can't remember his name. So we're going to try and do those ones after we uh, get a lift to try and get to this one acre which we haven't gotten to yet. I, I guess we go through the rainforest, I'm not really sure. Um, but we won't be going back through every single area to try and find all, all the small pieces we missed out quite yet. Because that will take quite quite a while, I think. Um, I'm not sure what the easiest way to go upwards is, but... I just noticed there's a, there's a little um, nook and cranny thing there. How do we get up here? I don't remember how we navigate this area in the slightest. I really don't remember how we do any of this, to be honest, but um, hopefully it's not that big a deal. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, but this seems right. We got it, guys. I, I didn't notice there's um, a, a little slap there. I, I don't remember if that's actually one of them that we've um, explored or not, but I suppose just in case it isn't, that seems like a good a time as any to try and go inside of it. Because I'm sure there's going to be so many more of these things we've missed out. Well, I say we've missed that one. I've missed that one before. <laughs> Just due to uh, my lack of exploration skills. Pardon me. I don't exactly know how you're meant to be. Oh, you're 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 right and down. Is it? You know, depth perception in this game is a little bit confusing. I'll, I'll certainly admit that much. <laughs> um, that's okay. It's simple enough. It was not. It's not really very, very punishing, I suppose, to to miss out on things here and there. Yeah, as I said before, the guide I I saw said that absolutely nothing in this game is missable. Um, I bet you could probably do everything post post game, and you'll still get it eventually. <laughs> a brush style, just a huge black square. This style changes the shape of your stroke. 
put away. Uh, we're not going to mess around with that yet. This is not the, the, the area I wanted to quite go to, but the fact we found the secret, I suppose, is um, nice. And, you know, there's going to be plenty more secrets, I think, we've ended up missing throughout the story, especially for all this tiny little thing like that. <laughs> Um, I, I will probably be, well, once we've done the post game, onto the post game stuff, I will be probably using a guide to try and find everything. So it turns out I did actually teleport to the wrong, wrong area <laughs> to get this stuff done. But I, I will be using a guide to find um, the stuff which we haven't quite gotten all of yet. Because it's, um, it's going to be quite difficult, I think, g going everywhere trying to find things. At least that's my, my personal thought. Hello, Raisin. Mmm, I like your colours here. It's just something about it. It feels right. I feel like I've changed your voice like every single time I read it out because I, I just constantly forget how I'm, how half these voices go. To be fair, there's a lot of people in this game. Um, okay, so we go down and left, it looks like, and then swim up a waterfall, if possible. Which, of course, is possible for us now with our newfound swimming abilities. So, grab this island, not this island, these headphones, cute. And apparently there's something, something over here. I don't know what this is. Tea Time Meadows, of course you and um, you have the memorial to your friend, right? Um, I think that's all the areas, right? Oh, we've missed one over here. Didn't we? So this... Hmm. So we can't go down from here. Oh, I think we go across from here. So let's have a pay visit to Eleven to see if we can go across from the cliff. I think, and see if we can walk across there. The alternative is we can go here, but we can't really climb up anywhere here in Nibble Tower. Nibble Tunnel. Oh, we do it from here. We do it from the base of a waterfall. Ah. I don't know why I didn't try that, but... Let us just find a place where we can get up. And we can... Well, actually, I guess we could follow this river all the way there. No, this is a different river. Um, when do you time minute? Wait, this is the area where we had to do... Do something, isn't it? Is this the... Uh... Wait, can we swim up these waterfalls? Have we tried that? There's another thing up there. Have we Have we done that one? All these things, I don't... Oh yeah, we, we, we've been in here. We've been in grab cabins. No need to revisit this area yet. I don't think. Um, I, I probably should have got up a, um, a steam guide to try and look at all the other sort of secret stuff I haven't done yet. Because I can't remember them. <laughs> I looked it up ages ago. Just have a, like a quick cursory glance and see the things I might have missed out on, but I don't remember what they were. A lot of it just looked like it was collections. Collections of things, and I was like, ah, you know what? Cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, we're not at that bridge yet, so I wasn't really thinking about it, but, you know. That bridge will be coming soon, so <laughs> sooner or later, so perhaps it's not something I should write off that, that quickly forever. Um, hmm. I don't think we can swim through that area, so I guess we'll just... Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. <laughs> I suppose we could, we could buy stuff from the shop as well. Instead of having to... Oh, gosh. Find out all the clothes. Sorry, I just clicked off my screen. I don't know if this will actually lead us to where we want to go, but... No, I don't think it will. I'm looking at it now. I'm, I'm, I'm like 90% sure it won't. So, but we're here in dinners. We have access to... Stuff. I think we'll go to Eleven's. We'll, we'll talk to um, so canvas number ten. That's one of them. That's a final um, prompt drawing. I think we have to do, and we got one final. I believe one final um, recreation. But we can check it right now by going to the master gallery, and seeing exactly um, what things we got left to do. Oh, it does seem like we can actually go over there to hopefully get to the base of the river. Hello, Marzipan. You got classic painting. A breezy field by vanilla. You can really feel the breeze in this one, can't you? The pose, the dramatic landscape, this one is a mood. It's strongly from the anime period of art history. I love all the artists in this gallery, but vanilla might be my favourite. Oh my god, me too, Mazban. In an era of overflowing with wonderful arts, hers stood out. I'd give anything to see what her original colours were like. I apologise that we couldn't quite do it justice, I suppose, in the recreation, but classic painting. The Bachelor Party by Plantain. The Plantain's a really interesting character, historically. They say that later in life he suffered greatly from violent mood swings and mental illnesses, you know. I suppose that's reflective of a lot of um, big artists in history. His art also got a lot more experimental and inter interesting. 
Some psychologists actually studied how his art changed over his life, as a window into his shifting mental state, but the more they scrutinised it, the less it explained anything to do with his mental health. It just goes to show how stigmatised mental illness is. Any old artist can draw weird stuff and it's fine, but if an artist is suffering from mental illnesses and their experimentation is evidence of their madness. Kind of a double standard, right? Absolutely, man. Marzipan, you are woke. Foxy romance of the idea of a mad artist, but struggling with mental health doesn't help any anyone make anything. If anything, it's amazing that Plantain can still paint so much in late in life. I like to think painting helped give him some peace and balance. His characters still make me smile anyway. Marzipan, you are base, as it turns out. <laughs> we can't talk to you? We can't talk to you. So we only got... We got one more um, recreation to do. We got one more prompt thing to do. Actually, scale down like this. These paintings look okay, right? But this one does not look very good, I must be honest. <laughs> Still. And this one doesn't look very good either. Oh, like this one, this one especially, and this one also looks quite good to scale down. So does the cat thing. Um, hello. You keep jumping like you want to talk to us, but we can't talk to you. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's just, you know, how it, how life is sometimes. Um... So, we want to hop on over to this side and walk right, which we can't from this screen. No, we want to go down, which we can't from this screen. Okay, so we need to go... Oh, we can't go right from here. Oh, my word. So, where do we have to go? Because it looks like we have to go like this, don't we? Go, go from the river up over here. I don't know why I haven't. Okay, so we can't do it from 11s, as it turns out. Like, I thought we might have been able to, but that's okay. You know, we've we got plenty of side quest stuff to be doing. This just only be one of them. We'll be doing this one, and then we'll... Um, I think we'll go back to the crime scene one and try and... Well, I say try and find the last one. I know where the last thing I missed is for the crime scene. And, you know, I'm, I'm not surprised I missed it because it's so difficult um, to actually get in the first place. <laughs> to actually spot in the first place. So, you know, I'm, I'm not, not going to blame myself for that. The fact I had to look, use a guide to actually find it in the first place is insanely hidden. To a surprising degree. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to go up the cliff. I forgot. We were just here, weren't we, earlier? And we decided not to actually... Oh! Wait a minute. How do I get out onto this riverbank? I guess I can't. Hmm. Because I want to go up here, but I can't just, I just can't figure out how to get up here. Is there another way? It looks like it must be this way. But the biggest problem is we can't actually get up onto that riverbank. I mean, we can hear, but it's not really the same, is it? I wonder if post-game you unlock, like, a teleport ability with a brush. That would be very convenient, is what I'd say. I'm not really sure how to get over there. All the same. I mean, we went over there before to try and get the thing. Uh, to get that unlock, and we did successfully get it, of course, but it's not really the same in this scenario. We don't need to be over there. We need to be, like... I feel like we've approached it from each angle. I guess... We are, Maybe we can do it from this side? I don't know how we get there though. We can't, that's an unclimbable cliff. A lot of that stuff is. Hmm. I thought we'd do it from the top, but we can't really do it from the top of that waterfall. Or can we? Did I just miss something perhaps a little bit more obvious? Hmm. It almost seems strange we can't pop out of a waterfall like this. I don't know why these rocks are still here, to be honest. It's kind of more of a nuisance of anything. It looks like we could hop across like that. Ah, oh, what a nuisance. Alright, I guess, I guess instead we'll, um, you know, we'll, we'll leave that one square. Maybe, maybe it's something we can access in the post-game. Maybe it's something we do later. I don't really know. I don't know. Okay, hold on. One... One more attempt to go up it. 
that maybe we could do from lunch on. Um, it feels like we should be able to, shouldn't we? It feels like there should be a way through Nimble Tunnel, but I'm just kind of shocked there isn't. Or maybe there is, and I just didn't pay attention. So this is where we went to get the, that thing, but it doesn't take us upwards. And we can't really go to the top of Nibble Tower. A uh, Nibble Tunnel. So I can't really see much of a way. Right, we can't go up this. So unless we can go through Nibble Tunnel, there's a secret passageway. Possibly. Potluck dinners. It has been a while since we've been through here, so... I suppose if there's any time... To do it. This would be it. Just, you know, keep an eye out of, like, little, um... Slots in the wall. Like, I mean, that's not really a little slot, but... Just things at the top which would allow us to go through a different direction. I can't I can't see anything hidden here. Mm. I can't I can't see anything. So instead of really it instead of it being particularly a hidden path or anything, it might not be. Not sure, but this is the potluck. Like, this is where we saw um that character. His name Radish Turnip. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, we had to draw like a path for you out. There might be something which we can access now, which we couldn't access before. Or well, over here because we lacked an ability, but um, it doesn't really look like it. Not that I can see. So I think we had to sort of give up on that idea for now. It seems like something which is not going to come to pass. At least not like this. Wait, never mind. <laughs> Where are we? Oh wait, hold on. We're way far away. Oh, we went we went out of the wrong tunnel, I suppose. I suppose we were meant to go to dinners. Oh, I don't know if we were meant to, per se. It's just more like maybe that would have been more helpful direction, because that at least would take us to the other cave entrance. Which could very possibly be the answer we're looking for. In this regard, and it doesn't take us that long to get back, so, you know. What am I really complaining about? Ah, here we go. This is how we get to the other acre, is it? Oh, it's someone's house. Someone's house we haven't been to. Uh, hi, are you right? <laughs> the fact that you just, you found me just now, it must be a sign. You see, I'm a hat maker. Oh, but after today, I've been known as the world's greatest hat maker. For you see, after me working relentlessly for years, I developed the technique to make any shape of a hat. You don't believe me? You think I'm crazy like everyone else? Well, I'll prove it to you. Please, let me make you, you have your dreams. Sh sure? But yes, I won't disappoint you. First, I want you to design the hat. Let me show you, it can be any shape you dream. Okay, I think we are just going to do usual dear ears. To be honest. Um, I like how unsettling the music is over here, to be honest. I'm trying to think what Deer's ears even look like from this angle, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's been a while since I've drawn D like this. I suppose we'll do it like this. I'm sure that other people have come up with much more creative ideas than what I've done, but still. I think these little ears will probably be good enough. Me thinks, at illustrating the sort of. Oh, we can give ourselves eyelashes as well. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder if that works or not. Nah, let's not. Let's not bother with that. I think that's fine. We'll do something like that. Okay, how about that? Done. Garlic, you you're rather unnerving. I hope there's a shortcut to get back to you, Garlic, rather than having to go this way. Yeah, it's done. You got custom hat. Where now? Looks okay. Do you see my genius? So many sleepless nights to make us a reality. And now I'll just sleep. Garlic. Whoa. Your custom hat. Isn't it perfect? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Sorry. So, okay. So we have a custom t shirt vendor. We have a custom hat vendor. And yeah, I don't really know if there's 
There's no sort of easy way to get to, I suppose. We just had to go through dinners and... Have we been up there? What's this? I don't remember what this way is. Brew path. I assume we've been over here. Things are painted in here, which, you know, kind of lead me to believe that. Oh, achievement unlock cartographer. So there we go. We've got one of the achievements. Well, I guess that must be unlocking every acre in the game. So we have a short amount of time to do some other uh, missions, I suppose, side quests. So I'm going to try and do... Um, well, I know I know I can do the crime scene one quite quickly because I know where um, we need to look for the final crime scene thing, the ink splot. I guess we'll try and do the photo ones as well. For um, I can't remember whose it was. It was um, the old guy in some other town. I don't really recall, but I, I, na I now know where to go to get this uh, final ink spot, and I mean, it's very, very hidden. Because apparently, you can actually go down these stairs, which I didn't realise. <laughs> um, okay, well, you can't take the elevator like a normal person, where to just instead go down over here. Hello, Rice, are you here on vacation too? This is my favourite spot to get away to. Walking in the snowy mountains, the soaking of the hot springs. Oh, it's as bad as can be. Fair enough. I immediately thought your name. But we have at least found not only three more pieces of litter, we have found the final... Well, I say found, I didn't really find it. Like, you know, the, the guy just told me where it was. Um, the final piece of evidence. Hmm. What, what is it? There's a pretty suspicious bunch of evidence around you here. E evidence? What are you doing back here anyway? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm lost. So you don't know anything about missing furniture? N no? Exactly what a criminal would say. You're free to go for now, but you're officially a suspect. I've never been suspected of something. Well, I'll do my best. <laughs> um, I have a feeling it's probably the pirate we found in the cave that one time, isn't it? Because likely to have been the one stolen everything. Can't talk to a couple anymore. That's A-OK. -okay. But now we can report back to the hotel manager. Or Quince, I suppose, with our findings. Oh, it looks like you found all the evidence. Are you ready to begin the final interrogation? Sh sure. Look at all the people interrogating. Now, let's begin the interrogation. Oh, I already figured out who did it. <laughs> um, why, why was Quince so scared about that sort of thing? It was obviously chilly. Well, hey, that's not fair. You can't just decide that, based on such flimsy evidence. Yeah, based on such flimsy evidence. I was, just, I was excited to be interrogated too. <laughs> Fine. Rice, did you steal the furniture? Why? No, I, I didn't. Then how do you explain this evidence? I found that outside just when you did. It looks like squeeze. Squeeze? <laughs> Are you alright, Quince? You know, the sweet liquid from inside free. Yeah, I know it squeezes, but why would squeeze be all over Simmering Springs? Yeah, because I stole it. Aha, <laughs> so you did steal the furniture. No, you stole the f No, I wish I stole the furniture. But I did steal a bunch of squeeze. That's why it was all over my feet. Um, why would you steal squeeze? Because I love to steal. It's all a fun and rewarding activity. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're losing a plot. Are you okay, Quince? There was squeeze at the scene of a crime, and some behind which result strangely. The only other place I found squeeze was out by the hot springs. By the way, this expression is adorable. Chili, are you saying you spilled squeeze in all those places? Yeah, no, no. Just my cave. I don't know anything about all that other stuff. Oh, then the culprit. It must have been... Quince. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I think I give up. Okay, I... Okay, I admit it. I was just checking on my presidential suite while enjoying my favourite squeeze. When disaster struck, I spilled squeeze everywhere. And I just couldn't clean it up. No matter how I tried, those guilty stains remained. So I got desperate. I thought the furniture just needed a bath. And so I dragged it all behind the resort and out onto the hot springs and dumped it all in the water. <laughs> Everything sank to the bottom instantly. It's gone. It's all gone. And it's all my fault. I, I'm, I'm the worst hotel employee. I'm so sorry, everyone. Aww. You're adorable, Bella. Well, I guess we we sold it. Quince. 
You're fired. <laughs> no. It's okay, dearie. Oh, what? It's okay. I forgive you. It was terrifying when I thought we'd been robbed. No, but it was just you. Well, I'm relieved. We have spaghetti to replace all... We have spaghetti to replace all the furniture anyway. So, whatever. <laughs> I see. Well, oh, that will be all then. Thank you all for coming. And thank you, Spaghetti, for your diligent interrogation. We can consider this case officially closed. I guess we did it. Turn about, squeeze, achievement unlocked. Thank you again. I certainly regret some of my choices here today. I really appreciate your discretion concerning my, um, unfortunate habit of imbibing vast quantities of squeeze. It's unbecoming of esteemed employees such as myself. A rapscallion chili has been an annoying presence here for some time. Perhaps he isn't stolen from us, but I'm sure someday he will. So I'd hope this investigation could oust him from similar springs. Hey, you can't just do that. You can't just frame someone for something didn't they do. Alas, my guilty conscience took over. My noble, honest soul. I suppose one mystery still remains. Just where did Chili steal that squeeze from? From you, right? Wait a moment. M -m my squeeze storage. Could he have... Chili! <laughs> so, it, it, it's going to be alright, Quince. It's Bud Scotch. Quince has worked here for a, a real long time. Uh, frankly, I don't think I can run this place without her. So I'm willing to not cry over spilled squeeze. And let bygones be bygones. Hopefully that never happens again, though. I'm sure it'll be fine, probably. Oh, hello, Mum. Spaghetti, you decorated a sweet, didn't you? Caught it a mother's six cents. I've been working hard lately, so I thought I'd come in for a soak. Of course, I couldn't get Dad to come. He's married to that holy shop. Spaghetti, I know you like to, you like to work hard like your Dad, but remember to take breaks sometimes, too. Oh, thanks, Mum. You right, Quince? You, you, you're good now? Your you hidden stash or squeeze? I wonder if we could talk to Chili or, um... Rice, again. God, the, na the names get so difficult to remember. <laughs> There's too many characters in this game. You're still just chilling back here. So you're not from here? Oh no. Are you kidding? I live in dinners, of course. I'm all about the big city lifestyle. Fancy clothes, luxury food, fast bicycles. I work in finances. So I was innocent all along. I knew I wasn't a thief. That resort worker, though, she might have a problem. Drinking that much squeeze can't be good for your skin. I mean, I suppose I'm not going to judge one way or another. and I can't really say no for sure. How good squeeze is for your skin, but... I mean... Her fur looks fine, I suppose. So it's all at the bottom of the river. I wonder if we can get it. I wonder if Frog Detective's got anything to say. Hey, yo. We solved a whole case. What do you think about that, huh? Absolutely nothing. Fair enough. And let's apologise to Chili, I suppose? No. Nope. Chili don't want to say anything. I mean, it does look like you've got a lot of furniture in the first place. <laughs> I don't... I mean, I'm not going to accuse you of ever, not yours. Oh, we still have the twin... Yeah, those two, like... I don't know if they're twins, actually. I just kind of assume they're twins. The twins, like, secret hiding spots or whatever for... Um... The gifts. So we've got here. That's that Sips River, I think. Oh, we should have done that when we were about a pea shop, and I know where that is. Somewhere. That, I think, is dinners. That? I don't know if we've done that one. I don't think we've done that one. We've done that one. I suppose we can talk to them. See if they're like, oh, you've gone two out of three or something. Because there might, might be one we, we, ha we have done, I didn't realise. Keep an eye out for his treasures. Alright. Gravy? No. Nope. You don't even tell me how much I've done. Fair enough, I suppose. Well, next time I suppose we'll be doing um, the final two paintings that we need to do for the customization, and then if we've got any other, not customization, sorry, uh, for the art lessons, and if we've got any time left over, I think we'll be doing, um, we'll be trying to do the sort of side quests. I might look up some, um, read a bit more of a guide to see what other sort of side quest stuff we have. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to not spoil myself at the same time, but it is a bit difficult. What a nice little spot. Almost feels like I can settle down right here. You do you, stream you do you. Um, so we got the, the paintings, um, sorry, we got the photos, we still need to take off those areas. We got the gifts. I think those are the only side quests we have left that I can think of. At least off the top of my head. So uh, we'll, we'll do that along with the paintings, uh, the two art lessons next time. And then the, uh, the episode after that, I think we'll finally take on the final boss and end up the main story, round up the main story. And then we'll go into a post story. And um, I'm, I'm told there's something of a post story. 
and it's some sort of cutscene. I don't really know how to trigger it, but we'll find out at the end when we'll be doing all the other 100% stuff if we can. But for now, if you haven't watching, thank you very much. It's been Chicory Colourful Tale. I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments, subscriptions, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Dear Darling, Discord, follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we see each other again, but for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>